name is JJ Adokarangting and I'm the expedition leader for Brave Hearts Expeditions. We have been running adventure operations in Lake Vorta for quite a while, as a matter of fact since 2013. And over and over again we have seen water level rise in the lake. Every time we've heard stories of the Bagri Dam being spilt, we have believed that the time will come when the Akosumbo Dam would have to undergo the same treatment and time and time again we have seen that happening. In fact we expected the last spillage to have been last year but somehow we were saved and this year there has been no help for it. Uh, the Water River Authority has had to open up the dams and whilst we operate mainly in Lake Vorta we also have uh, an adventure location the Trident uh, south of the dam right between the Akosumbo Dam and the Akuse Dam. And so it's been interesting seeing um, the interplay of, of the forces of the spillage and the running water, the rising level of the water or the swollenness of the river and how uh, uh, it affects our various adventure offerings. Um, global warming is a fact. Those of us in Africa are experiencing more rainfalls within this climate change uh, era. And so what that means is that we get more rain than we anticipate and therefore it's not a surprise that all our rivers are getting swollen and we're getting to the part where we have to open our dams and spill. For us as an adventure company it's always important no, uh, whatever geographic uh, events that occur to test the systems we have to see if those systems will survive the worst case scenarios. And this is why I will be kayaking um, at the base of the dam today, about five kilometers from the base of the dam, I should say. But the power of the water where I will be kayaking will be no less, uh, you know, powerful than it would be if I was right at the base of the dam. What I will be attempting to do is to kayak in different segments of the river to test um, my own physical fitness and mental uh, resi resilience against those portions and I will actually capsize my kayak in those portions and see how easier or difficult or more difficult it would be if I was going out with clients and those scenarios happened. Hi, so um, the attempt has been successful. Uh, I first tried to go along with the flow of the river. It did not work. So I had to do something we call strafing. Kind of uh, let the uh, current take me where it wanted to and then let my paddle decide at which angle I attack the current from. And that's how I was able to cross open water. It was good to get into the channel because it was calmer the channel and by the time we got there I was already half exhausted. So I rested a bit through the channel and then we got to the narrower side of, of our portion of the river and that is torrential. There's a, there are rocks in that segment and the current sucks you in. I saw rip currents and I saw whirlpools and both of them threatened several times to capsize my kayak. Eventually, I could not go against the currents because it was like being on a treadmill. You're paddling as much as you can, but then you're not going anywhere. Eventually, I even had to change uh, my paddling technique and use what we call the, the fisherman style, where instead of letting my arms be the pivot of paddling, I had to let my waist do that so I could get in as much power as I could. I had to hug the shoreline at some point so I could cut across and let the waves bring me more towards this trident. So this was a very complicated maneuver. Of course, it was possible when I capsized, um, I, I was already in a part of the river where the current was wider. A wider current means and that means that even though the, it's still pulling you, it doesn't pull you as much because there's no sucking motion from the river. And so the capsize there was easier. If I had capsized where the current was worse, I probably would have been dragged down towards the Adamin Bridge and then I'll have to find some branch to hold on to to haul myself out of the water. 
all in all, it was an exciting um, adventure, but extremely tedious. And the concept of doing this with clients uh, both scares me and thrills me, but we'll figure out how to make that happen. So anyone that wants to come out here and pitch their strength against the current can do so as well. So after going through all of that just to test the river and figure out what our risk assessment options are, it's obvious that um, only the tough can get going um, with a river behaving the way River Volta is behaving right now. As we speak, a lot of the businesses that run um, boat cruises along the river have had to stop because they do not have the firepower that we have in order to be able to take their clients upstream. And then of course, um, even fishermen have had to call it a day uh, over the past one week because the current is way too strong than they can navigate. And so clearly these are the challenges being posed by um, climate change. And in our case, um, rising water levels in lake and river volta. But it also offers opportunities for us because we've had that uh, we've, we've, we've been able to test our systems. And whilst it's difficult, we realize that it actually does work. I was able to kayak the entire stretch of the route. What that also means for us and for our clients is that every client must be assisted by a ranger or a master guide so that uh, we can navigate through those difficulties in, in terms of a, a capsize. Then we know how to rescue people. And of course, it offers challenges. Usually, all our kayaking is done on what we call flat water. But now we have a white water effect. Uh, because of the fast Russian river, uh, we have the same effect that we would have had if we were kayaking on a waterfall, for example, or kayaking an extremely fast river um, in an alpine terrain. And so um, it, it offers us unique opportunities to push our clients beyond the limits of still their physical and mental endurance and to do so in exciting ways that gets them to discover and find out more about themselves. Um, communities around Lake and River Volta are in trouble. Um, up north, it's the same thing. Roads have been washed. Roads have been taken over by the rising water. Um, here in this middle section, we are experiencing the same thing. And even down south from the Akuse Dam towards Ada, it's another matter. Schools and whole communities are you know, covered by water. Um, the opportunities, even in these challenges, to figure out what those high water levels are and to plan accordingly. So that if we're going to build, then it means that we need to build beyond what these current water levels are. Because I believe that this will become the new normal. And once we accept that, then we behave um, in accordance with that new knowledge so that all our decision making um, takes these uh, risks into consideration. All in all, I'm excited that um, I was able to push through. It was physically difficult um, and um, mentally tasking as well. But I was glad to do that because that gives me the opportunity to know exactly how my customers will feel. I am very experienced at this. Our customers are not. And so when we go through these kinds of um, experiences, it toughens us up to find ways that can lessening the challenge a little bit for our customers and especially on the safety um, aspects as well which means that once we go kayaking there'll be more boats in the water more ranges in the water to keep an eye on everyone and we will also have to start upstream so that no matter what happens with the current we would end up at the trident and keep everyone safe so we're looking forward to having you all here at the trident clearly you can see that i survived i'm still alive this was not taped before the adventure this was taped right after and so um even with the rising water level we will keep you safe if you sign up for the hike and the up sailing those are not directly impacted of course our boat is uh, our boat weighs three tons so that's heavy enough to give you a comfortable ride even up river and then of course plane bowling and and the rest of the adventures are not on the water but kayaking is and that's why i had to do the risk assessment and i can safely tell you that you can participate and we'll keep you safe so see you at the trident um, as soon as possible so that we can go through this experience together before the water goes back to its calm uh, nature again mm -hmm.